So I've been trying to upload um, an Upright Citizens Brigade clip for the past couple days. It's been immediately blocked by YouTube's copyright algorithm. And I don't want to file a dispute, because I've heard if you file a dispute and you lose, you get a strike. And I've heard that after three strikes, your channel basically becomes non-functional. That you go to, like, limited state, you can't stream, you can't even choose your thumbnails kind of deal. So I'd much rather tiptoe around it. I gave it a second shot where I tried to put my own personal overlay over the clip. I made it look like it was coming out of an old school uh, glass television. And, you know, oh, it looks like Alphabet's smarter than that now. Looks like I can't outsmart Alpha Alphabet with little tricks like that anymore. So, um, and Sumner Death Star. <laughs> he needs to control everything. And, and here's the problem with Sumner, is that he wants total creative control over everything Viacom has ever touched, but he doesn't let any of the content out. It's like he keeps it all in a big safe and you're not allowed to see it. I'm trying to upload a clip from 2,000 years ago for archive purposes because I feel like people don't think satire of the Church of Scientology started earlier than it did. I think they think it started around Going Clear on HBO. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, these comedians were very fearlessly taking the piss out of the church 20 years ago. In a way, when I was watching it, I was worried that Comedy Central or the UCB were either going to get sued or taken off the air. And it was during that time. This was during that time when you were not technically allowed to satirize or make implications about the church because they would sue you into oblivion. And I think I, I, it's important to document that someone or some outfit attacked the church on that level and that, you know, it, it might have planted the seed for others to do so. And I even said in my description for my original upload, monetize this if you want. Like Viacom, Sumner, take the money. I just want to upload this for archive purposes and posterity purposes so that people know it exists. Isn't that what it's what fair use is? I mean, people keep telling you... Um, they're so quick to say what isn't fair use, but then they can't define it. And that's the problem. It's like when you ask someone to define irony. It's the same as when you ask someone to define fair use. They stand there going, uh, 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 I know what it is, but uh, 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 I just can't put it into words. Yeah, whatever. Well, you, re you really should be able to put it into words if it's going to affect these sort of things. If it's going to become a legal standard, then we should know how to define it, right? And instead, people like Sumner are like, mine, mine, no, mine, 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 no, it's mine. You can't have it, it's just mine. And it's like, no, no, fine, I don't want to argue with the Jordan Peterson people and the Donald people about what's, you know, you're right, he paid for it, so he can take it back if he wants. He built the lemonade stand so he can trash it if he wants to. You're right. You're, you're, you're right that he's within his legal rights. And I'm saying that even though he's within his rights, he is still an asshole. And that Viacom still sucks. Okay, Jordan. <laughs>